investigators, can they keep up this investigative pace over the holidays? We will continue to keep up this pace. Um, you know, we're giving individuals time off when they need it. Uh, we're augmenting other people into those spots so that the investigation continues, but we're not going to stop investigating this. What kind of progress has been made regarding... Ooh. Hold on a minute. This is a... Okay. Whoa. Hold on. I just noticed something, you guys. Look at his face. The other interviews we just watched. You said... You know, looks refreshed, right? Looks refreshed, looks relaxed, looks calm, looks collective, looks rested, looks, you know, pretty confident, right? Pretty confident. And then you look at this right here, and he looks beat the fuck up, right? Like, he looks worn down, run out. He obviously looks... I don't... Look at his eyes. Don't don't look at his mouth, Bella. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. See, it's a sign of like distress. Look at his eyes. The other videos refreshed, calm, confident. This one the eyes don't display confidence, okay? Just hold on. Look at how look at how worn out he is right there. Look at how he looks like there's something wrong. There's something wrong, okay? Now, when you take his look now and you take what he just said, okay? This is a small department, people. The, the, at this point, the crime has been taking place for a month already. They already have a rotation set. Just wait. There, I said there's three parts to it. We're on part two. We're on part two. Wait till you hear part three. Look at his face, part one, compared to all the other ones. He looks worn out. He looks dis He looks distressed. He looks like he's stressed. He looks worn out. He looks like there's something wrong. Number two, what he just states is that we need, we had to change it up. This is part two still. We had to change it up. Number three, is this when they realized that one of their officers done fucked up? Is this when they realize one of their officers done fucked up? And is that why the Brady Giglio came about? That's what I'm wondering right here. You look at the difference. Number two, you look at the number one, look at the difference from his face before all the other ones. Confident as hell. No matter what press conference it is, this is the first one where he looks like this. And then you're going to make the statement in the same one that you had to change it up and you're going to blame it on the holidays. Uh, it's December 16th. You're in the middle of freaking Thanksgiving and Christmas, bro. What you're saying would it be said on Christmas Eve, the day after Christmas, the day before Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, not directly between Christmas and Thanksgiving. So you're on some bullshit. And I bet you, you realized one of your officers fucked up. You had to switch everything around and hope that somebody didn't realize that one of your officers done fucked up. And that's why you're worried. And then as time went on, then all of a sudden, yes, one of our officers fucked up. 
why else and this is why i think this why else would you and we'll play it again why else would you need to change a schedule because of holidays when it's 12 16. what no you had to change your fucking rotation and who's going there because somebody done fucked up and you need to start distancing yourself and them from the investigation before it gets any worse. Students are returning home for winter break. Does that present challenges for the investigation? 12, 16. It's always a little bit of a challenge. Um, we went through this, you know, right after uh, Thanksgiving and all that, but uh, we have investigators all across the nation we have investigators all across the state with the state police and the fbi so we'll adapt to that and we'll continue to do our investigation what about investigators can they keep up this investigative pace over the holidays we will continue to keep up this pace um, you know we're giving individuals time off when they need it uh, we're augmenting other people into those spots you would already be doing this already a month later you would already have perfected your rotation. A month later, you would have already perfected your rotation. There would be no reason for you to change it up for a, quote, holiday when it's 1216, bro. One of your officers done fucked up. You need to distance yourself and them from the investigation. You hoped it wouldn't come out. It eventually did, and then you had to confess. And all of a sudden, boom. Yes, we have an officer, Brady Giglio. Sorry, Judge. Here, we gotta tell you. We gotta tell you. Why are you giving what? You would have perfected your rotation on 12 16 by then period state with the state police and the fbi so we'll adapt to that and we'll continue to do our investigation what about investigators can they keep up this investigative pace over the holidays we will continue to keep up this pace you would have perfected um, you know, your rotation time off when they need it uh, we're when they need other it. people into those spots so that the investigation continues but we're not going to stop investigating this mm -hmm. they're gonna yeah they're gonna give other people time off when they need it And we're going to augment other people into the investigation. I bet you that's when they realized. Fuck. Fuck. That's why, and this is 1216, everybody. What day did BK get to Pennsylvania? What day did BK get back home? This is 1216. Do you think they knew about BK then? No. That's why they let BK, or that's why BK went from Pullman to PA. They weren't. They weren't. This is when they said oh fuck why do you think everything happened so quick from 1216 to 1229 when the pca was written the pca was written 13 days later what's up ag PCA was written 13 days later. Do they look like they know BK is a suspect? Does it look like... Does it look like... They even have a clue about BK? To me, it looks like they got a clue that one of their officers done fucked up and they needed to distance him from the investigation and they had to augment other people into the investigation 
and they really needed to hurry up and figure out what the fuck they were going to do because now that the officer done fucked up speculation now that the officer done fucked up and they figured it out and they realized it now they have to go in pr save our ass fucking mode so it doesn't ruin the whole investigation so then all the enrollment leaves the university of idaho because not only we couldn't find out who the fuck did it but we done fucked everything up too shit my job's on the line all these guys jobs on the line are funding look at his face look at his face I'm saying even the 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 chain of custody, you know? Why why do they not have the chain of custody? Why can't they get the training records? Why can't they get this information? There's only one reason because it has something to do with somebody that's part of the investigative team or process. And like I was saying, I wouldn't be surprised if the person that's under the Brady Giglio is the person that collected the sheath and that's why they don't fucking care to use it. Because they already know it's going to get tossed anyway because the person that collected it is the person that's under the Brady Giglio. And then you're trying to tell me that you had Koberger's name during this time period when... I'm um, Hell, we went to the one... That was on 12-8. The day after they put the vehicle out, we went to that interview, and it don't even sound like they're asking for the suspect's car. It sounds like they're asking for somebody that was either or to help them with valuable information. So were you looking for the suspect's car or not? And when you're saying that you're looking for the vehicle, you're looking for a vehicle, that's the same vehicle that then you say is suspect vehicle one. We've already talked about the suspect vehicle one, negative one, six months ago. When you come out, and when you first come out for a 2019 to a 2023 Nissan Sentra, and that's the first vehicle that you're looking for, is a Nissan Sentra. When the first vehicle you're looking for is a Nissan Sentra, that's when I said... Well, what the hell? What are we? Is that suspect vehicle minus one? <laughs> you know what I mean? 